was battered and scarred. And the auctioneer thought it hardly worth his while to waste much time on the old violin, but held it up with a smile. What am all for good folks, he cried. Who'll start the bidding for me? A dollar, a dollar, two, only two? Two dollars, who'll make it three? Three dollars once, three dollars twice, going for three... But no. From the back of the room, a gray-haired man came forward and picked up the bow. Then wiping the dust from the old violin and tuning up the loose strings, he played a melody as pure and sweet as a caroling angel sings. The music stopped, and the auctioneer, with a voice that was quiet and low, said, What am I bid for the old violin? And he held it up with the bow. A thousand dollars, and who'll make it two? Two thousand, who'll make it three? Three thousand once, three thousand twice, and going and gone, said he. Some people cheered, but some of them cried, we do not quite understand. What changed its worth? Then someone replied, The touch of a master's hand. So many a man with life out of tune And battered and scarred with sin Is auctioned cheap to the thoughtless crowd Much like the old violin. A mess of pottage, a glass of wine, a game, and he travels on. He's going once and going twice. He's going and almost gone. But the master comes, and the foolish crowd never can quite understand the worth of a soul. And the change that's wrought by the touch of the master's hand.